Hello viewers, Elements 118 back and it's time, yes once again, for a World of Tanks special, the series where I bombard you with my voice throughout six replays. We're kicking off with a tier 5 game, or rather a tier 6 game, but a tier 5 vehicle, the AMX 13 105 AM, which is the tier 5 French SPG, and it's the first time I've shown you an SPG replay. Um, is it a tier 5? Yeah, it is tier 5. Um, so, I know these uh, replays aren't favoured amongst YouTubers, but um, I was told there's a very good shot towards the end um, onto one of the enemy tanks, so I'll look forward to that. Um, I've never had this vehicle, so can't tell you about it. The only artillery I like playing really is the GW Panther because it has a very, very good firing arc due to the uh, the semi turret. Oh, um, what's this? What is this view? I've never seen this before. I shall have to consult dead man on it. I've never seen that before. Pretty sure it's not been hidden in the game for game this long. It must be a new feature. Gave it fast tracks there. 160 damage. Shot. He can get another shot, which misses. <laughs> this is a weird SPG to be honest. I've just noticed um, by looking at the bottom of the screen this can carry armor piercing composite rigid shells. What kind of penetration does it get? Um, it gets 223 millimeters penetration at tier 5. Now, that would have killed the ARL 44, but he used a repair kit to bring back his track, so the shot missed. was the shot that I was told about. Killing shot on the Rudy about five, six, seven seconds after he came off the radar. That was a sneaky shot. Lucky shot. <laughs> That's quite nice. <laughs> team has done very well. Then again, there's now a 95% chance to win. Oh, Hummel's been spotted. Yep, managed to kill the Hummel. H18B2 is gone. KV2 is about to get swarmed in the town, so he's going to go down pretty soon, looks like. Yep, there he goes. It's just an enemy AMX 13 AM. Where is he? Hmm. He's killed by someone else. He actually managed to lose contact with a couple of, uh, a couple of his allies there. So that wasn't a, a particularly enjoyable, um, it wasn't the best replay to watch, but <laughs> hell of a shot there on that Rudy. Um, bit lucky, but there was a bit of skill in that as well. And yes, he, he only managed to do 305 damage, 2 kills, 352 base experience, but I only showed that for its, um, for its single shot. 
So let's, uh, let's move on to the next replay. And here we are. We are riding along now with Spill. Uh, he's driving his M41 Walker Bulldog Tier 7 American light tank. Or well, one of the Tier 7 American light tanks, I should say. The, the, the newer one. There, was, there is, of course, the slightly older T71. Um, there's a lot of people that like this tank. Um, I can tell I don't, um, because it's a light tank. <laughs> beyond tier 2 that isn't the BT-7, as I've mentioned before. Light tanks are not my thing. Uh, they seem to be Spill's thing, though. Um, I've certainly seen light tank games from him before, I believe. I did at one point show you a WZ-131 replay sent in by Spill. Let's see what he can do in his Walker Bulldog. We're here on Ruinberg, and we have a 59% chance to win. for an early spot of scouting only spots an enemy scout looks like this vehicle deals with rough terrain quite uh, quite well it's bouncing around all over the place but not losing much momentum it's a 250 takes a shot but didn't hit. It doesn't look like he has an auto the automatic gun on here. Um, not sure how many guns are available on the M41 Walker Bulldog. Is it a stock gun? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything else over here. Oh, there's the T34. Changes things a bit. Oh, there's a cheery. Oh, as it turns out, there's, there's a lot more. There's a Panther 2, there's a VK 3601H. Spill needs the right moment to. Uh, God, there's a bulldog as well. Turns out most of the enemy team are over here. <laughs> I'm a T37. You see, I don't, I don't think I can ever play well using a light tank like this. Um, you need, really, to have better skill and experience in World of Tanks in order to play light tanks I find because well you've got to keep on the move you've got to keep alert you've got to keep one eye on the minimap and one eye on the battlefield virtually all the time um, you know it's, it's, it's difficult um, it's not the same as driving a medium tank, for instance. Because while, while most medium tanks can scout, most of the time they don't have to, because light tanks do it for them. Um, oh dear. Allied VK3601H goes up in flames. T37 is making a run for it. Managed to get a nice shot. Let's try and shoot him. I like he's hiding behind a little bit of um, ruined fountain. I think that's what it is. SC152 finishes him off. You can just about see the VK3601H. Yep, managed to get one in. Can you get the killing shot? Can you get the killing shots? No. Yes, he can. Oh, enemy bulldog. First shot misses. He's receiving hits from that leopard. Oh my 
gold. Oh, gee, ring. This flank is uh, looking quite dangerous now. He's getting some nice shots in where he certainly cannot be spotted. Now there's a Type 58. I don't remember seeing a Type 58 over there. Now, that bounced, but he had to penetrate through a truck first, so I assume that's why. Oh, that's terrorist being damaged. He's got to get out. He hasn't got a repair kit now. Looks like the Dicomex was AFK the whole time, so he got one. One shotted by the um, the GW Panther, and the scores are not looking brilliant. Ten seven to the enemy team. Now it's eleven seven to the enemy team. Second one. Guess is the third one. Decides to head back into the town. What's he going to do? Is he going to hide behind the booth? I don't think he's got six cents on this. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. It's just him and this T-34 left now. Looks like the rest of the team lost the battle in the town. And for some reason we have a greater chance to win now than we did at the start of the battle. Now 61% chance to win. Right, Yank Panther. What are you doing, Spell? Right, the T-34 has taken out the VK-4502. Ours Faye. Alright, T-32 over there now. Base has been captured. Oh, cheery spot here. Three health remaining. It's going to reload, Spill. Get out of there. That was lucky. T-34 takes out the Yag Panther. That's one with the side of the T-32. And another one with the side of the T-32. Misses the killing shot. Doesn't matter, T-34 takes him out anyway. Next target, T-150. And he's not paying attention, so he gets taken out. I say he wasn't paying attention, he wasn't... He was uh, paying attention to the T-34. Switched arm piercing comes as rigid. And then switching to high explosive. <laughs> because T-34 is taking out the GRE and now all they've got left is that GW Panther. The GW Panther doesn't need to hit Spill, it just needs to get within about, I don't know, 50 meters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Geodry Panther doesn't have quite that uh, that good uh, 
Ooh. <laughs> that could have ended very, very badly. Lucky there. Seems to assume that the Geoban Panther is hiding over here somewhere. Nope, it doesn't look like he is. I'm going to get into the cap. Good idea, make the GW Panzer come to them, or for, or, you know, or he will lose. So, sitting right at the back of the cap, it's not really a T-34's job to go hunting for artillery and he has only got 132 health remaining well, we switch back to on piercing now well he's not in K1, we've searched in K1 <laughs> so you can tell he's lying the GW Panther's probably going to force to cap to win. There we go. Yeah, he, he took a shot at the, at the cap. And that's the end of that. So, that's Spill in the M41 Walker Bulldog. Mastery badge, second class. Uh, Fire Effect Bruiser. He managed to do 1,676 damage, 3 kills, 893 uh, base experience for a total of 2,678 base experience and 15,252 credits with premium account. And uh, without further ado, let's move on to the next replay. So we've seen Dead Man, we've seen Spill, how about a replay of my own? How does that sound? Well. I've got the SU-152 out again. I absolutely love this vehicle, as I'm sure I told you um, the last time I showed you it. Assuming I have shown you it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have. It's on the south coast, I think. Uh, well, this time we're on Windstorm. It's a tier 7 battle. Um, XPM rates this a 58% chance to win. This is a very, very recent replay. Um, I do believe I managed to get this replay on the same day that I recorded all this. Which was the day before uploading it. It does take a lot of time to uh, upload these specials, which is why I do it overnight. Because, uh, of course, while it's uploading, I can't use the internet for anything else. <laughs> so, you know, I can't play World of Tanks. And when it takes six, seven or so hours to upload it, it's quite a lot of time that I would otherwise be using, probably, on the internet. So, I got up here, I was spotted by something, but whatever it is, it's gone now. Oh, and there's a VK-31P. That was a good shot. Took away the majority of his health. He didn't like that. Now I can see that he is... Um, 
I could see there that he was um, still looking this way, so although I'm reloaded, is it safe to go out there? Oh, yep, yeah. they both bounced. <laughs> Not too bad. Now that was a surprise. Kill the vk 31 p and then I don't notice there's a leopard behind me who rams me and manages to achieve nothing else than damage himself. So, you know, thanks for that. <laughs> There's your punishment. Can you see those? Those shots in the back of the hull where the, the leopard hit me? Should be able to see it better in a minute. There we are. Look at all that. <laughs> God, I hate my tanks. I could have taken that shot, but it wasn't quite fully aimed, so I decided I'm not going to waste it. There's a Cheeto coming. Oh. And the Panzer IV Icefage went out of my arc range. <laughs> bit annoying. Oh well, perhaps I'll get him later. Speaking of which... <laughs> yep. Why the hell not? Now then, what next? Cheeto? Like Cheetos, the ones next. I need to make sure that I don't hit the fence. Problem solved. <laughs> now then, Chi Ri. Oh, he's hiding behind the building, yeah. So, well, he's side scraping. <laughs> side scraping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chi Ri. I think there's a little, um, on the front of the chimney, there's little sort of angled plates uh, that are angled sort of 45 or so degrees from from, from the front. Um, so when side scraping, they effectively don't become in, there's no angling at all. Um, I think that's where I hit. Um, since while the chimney doesn't have much in the way of side armour, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have penetrated the Chiri's side armour side scraping at that angle. So it must have hit the the angled section which was, because it was side scraping, no longer angled. I'll sit back here, wait if I can get a shot at either of these two remaining tanks. I'm going to get ready for the T-34-1. There he is. He's just behind the land. KV5 next to me takes him out. Now then, T29. There he is. There he is. Oh no. No, T25. Oh. You see, I could have taken that shot, but I thought it was too risky since the T25 2 moved up and I probably would have hit him, and hitting him would probably mean. probably have meant that I'd killed him. Um, so, right. Anyway, five kills is certainly good enough. Mastery badge, first class. Fighter, fire for effect, bruiser. Uh, total of 2209 damage. 5 kills as I mentioned, 1032 base experience, which was increased to 3096 base experience, uh, and 32,959 credits profit with premium account. Yep, I still love the SE-152, it will still remain one of my top 5 favourite vehicles in World of Tanks. Um, yes, the KV-2 is 
much more popular as a dirt vehicle, but you just can't fire a high explosive anti tank in that, and this has a very, very strong gun magnet, which can't be penetrated by anything. Um, or at least it doesn't do any damage through a penetration anyway. So, SU-152 replay. There's a very, there's another Tier 7 Soviet tank destroyer that I like very much. See if you can guess what it is. Yep, you guessed it. It's time once again for the SU-12244. <laughs> This is going to be the fifth or sixth time or something stupid like that that I've shown you a replay in the SU-12244. It is, without a doubt, my favourite vehicle in World of Tanks. Some others get close, like the SU-152, but the SU-12244 is absolutely spectacular. Damage per minute, rate of fire, alpha damage, speed maneuverability. There really isn't much to dislike about this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, 6.33 second reload, which is, by the way, the best it can ever get, because my crew are trained up to 100% with brothers in arms, and the vehicle has a gun rammer, improved ventilation, and is it extra combat rations or improved combat rations? Extra combat rations. So, <laughs> let's see what I can do in this battle. We're on Tundra. It's a 47% chance to win. Does that matter? <laughs> no, of course it doesn't. That shot missed on Type 58, but I didn't expect it to hit anyway. Now the Type 58 shouldn't come round and flank me because I've got a load of allies just there that will be able to take him out. So I can focus my attention up here where the light tanks on the enemy team are. They took out friendly MT-25. There's a T-37 and an amx 12 t up there. There's the MX 12T, and he did not want to do that, and that was a low damage roll. Not that it would have mattered since the C 3485 took him out anyway. That was a poor shot. That wasn't, though. <laughs> that was still slightly below average damage roll. And that was a miss. Probably, to be honest, load high explosive for this, but he's not quite that low on health. And I probably didn't think of it at the time. I'm spotting all these medium tanks here. Because I'm, I'm so close to them. But they just can't fire me because there's this massive rock in the way. Well, the T-37 is no longer on the top of the hill. Which means he's no longer a threat to me. And that Fury is looking very, very, very weak on that 155 health that he's got remaining. And looks like those two T-34s, such time for gates, were um, thinking about coming in and flanking me. So go around and take out the, the Fury. I nearly said Rudy there. And I think actually at the time that I was I was playing this, I was talking to my allies. Obviously they couldn't hear me, but I was talking about that. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and finally the IS comes out, distracts them, takes one of them out. Well, the MP4 takes one of them out. Come in, put a shot into the T3485, finish him off with a second shot. And now I'm going to go up onto the top of the hill. We've lost the other flank. Um, there's a Sherman Jumbo, it's our only hope. I've um, got a comet in the southeast corner of the map. Oh, there's the T 37. We stopped. Thought it was going to continue. And that shot missed. I 
almost takes him out. Now, VK 3601H. Can who? I can, but it's very well slipped from this angle. And I have been spotted. Finished off with the second shot anyway. Now then, there's a T20 down there. But there's a Tiger P with me, so it's fine. Now I'm going to go around and attempt to flank this guy. Since the Egg Panzer IV hasn't come around, and it looks like <laughs> the opposite of what I expected has happened. Tiger P takes his tracks off, so I put one into him. Finish him off with another shot. We're being capped. not being capped. Seems as if they're a bit confident. Well... Here's news to you, I'm not giving in. Looks like it didn't have the gun depression to hit me there. Which is all very well, because that would have probably been the end of me if he had got the gun depression. I received a hit from the ARL-44 instead. There's only three of us left, but Tiger P manages to take out the enemy KV-85. Oh, there's a Firefly, and I put one hell of a shot in. Tiger P takes out the ARL-44 as well. Firefly, there's an IS over there. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that one, did you? the ice too there, I can't kill the firefly. Trying to get a, a shot over these rocks into the side of the turret of the tiger, but it's not proving very easy. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. Exactly the kind of shot I wanted. Drive forward, keep driving forward. There we go. This one IS. And Tiger P takes out the Firefly, which means there's only the IS2 left. He takes out the ordinary IS. But he starts reversing down there. I decide mm, I'm not quite safe enough to go chasing him because he can kill me in one shot. He can also kill the Tiger P in one shot. So I think we've got to try and work together on this one. goes ahead, spots the IS-2's coming back up again, but he hasn't spotted me again yet. He has now though. Here you go. That, was, that shot missed. I was aiming for the turret cheek, although I probably couldn't have penetrated it anyway if I did hit. my side scraping works but he's now fired he bounced off me he's reloading and that's the shot that takes the game yeah I really do love that <laughs> that vehicle um, whole horde of certain medals got Marshal Badge Ace Tanker their fire for effect fighter duelist hand of God bruiser high caliber um, 4,385 damage done, 5 kills, 1,495 base experience, raised to 4,932 experience in total, uh, and 60,844 credits profit. Not, not given, that's profit. Uh, with a premium account. So, that was quite a high note. Now then, what have we got to follow it up? Ah, oh, thank you, Dead Man. Yep, we're back in Dead Man's view again. Uh, he's driving the T44. The, um, or one of the 
Soviet tier 8 medium tanks. We're on steps. And XVM rates this a 62% chance to win. Probably just because there's a very good Afkrung's Panzer Panther um, on the team. Dat Matchmaker, eh? Not quite sure what he's referring to. Oh well. Um, now then. Going towards the east. Just noticed, back of the T-44's turret has some track links on it. Which seem really rather square. <laughs> Oh well, this is not an HD model yet, so that's probably why. Looks like the team are spreading pretty well. So you can just see a line of friendly tanks. It's the steps wall. Yeah, that's a that's a T 32s turret. I'm not going to penetrate that from the front. is looking very insecure but the rest of the team seems to be pushing very very limitlessly on the other side of the map the west has certainly not fallen there's another one to the KV-3 dodges the return shot T29 sets him on fire. The fire leaves him on two health. Target finishes him off. AT15. Oh yes, yes, AMX CDC. No, he's been tracked. Oh, it's alright. Certainly distracted the AT-15, so dead man can come in, put a shot into the engine deck. Come down, face hugging, it's on to the side. It's receiving hits from up ahead. Turret reverse is damaged, puts another one to the other side. Repairs the turret. Comet. 
this is oh, he's on 47 health That was a bit tense, a bit lucky towards the end. <laughs> so, it wouldn't come as a bit of a surprise to say that uh, he got to Spartan and steal a wall out of that. <laughs> Along with Master Mesh, second class, shell proof, fire for effect, and bruiser. He managed to do 3199 damage, uh, no kills, but you're not going to complain when you do 3199 damage. 943 base experience, which became 1,414 experience in total, and 32,633 credits with premium account. So, there's one more replay to show you in this, in this special. We're going to go back to one of mine now. And here we are, in the last the sixth replay in the fourth special. I'm driving a tier 10 vehicle this time, the IS-4, one of the Soviet tier 10 heavy tanks. Quite like this. Um, I have shown you replaying it before. Uh, I think that was in a replay that was the only replay in one video. Um, apologies, apologies for that wording. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Um, I think that one was um, good defeat, um, or good. I can't remember now. Yeah, good defeat. Um, that was when I was driving the IS-4. That was on um, what's the map, Serene Coast. Um, this time I'm on highway. Obviously, I'm going to move over into the town. Fifty-six percent chance to win, according to XBM. And there's some seriously good players on both teams, and that was a very, very lucky shot. That was absolutely brilliant. I was, I was laughing quite heavily at the time. I did not bother stopping and aiming at that T-54 lightweight because I thought I wouldn't hit him even if I did do that. And I probably wouldn't have done. <laughs> so, take, took a shot on the move. At a distance of, I don't know, 450 odd meters or something like that, and it manages to hit and penetrate and do nearly um, at the alpha damage of 440. So, certainly not complaining after that shot. Oh, there's an object 263. Yeah, I decide I'm not, I'm not fancying my chances against that thing from this range. There's some seriously good players on both teams. Um, we've got very good players in the AMX 50B, Bat Chapter 25T, and T49. They've got a good player in the Panzer 100. Nothing in here. Or rather, let's see if I can flank this object 263. Oh, there's a Foch 155. He's behind me. Warehouse there, that's, that's fine. Yeah, come on, keep backing up, keep backing up. Oh, there's, a, there's an FE 215B183 over there. Oh, God. That was a lucky hit. Looks like it hit the, the, little, uh, the little turret on the top, which is, I don't know, probably got a machine gun in it. Since it's very difficult to penetrate the, uh, the slopey bit on the front of the Foch 155, I hate battling against them since they very, very rarely, um, you know, allow me to get a shot in. Oh, oh there's a Waffenträger. I've got no high explosive on this. 
That's one thing I must change at some point. Although that wouldn't that shot wouldn't have been possible with high explosive because I had to penetrate through a wall first. That's when I notice there's an AX50B behind me. I put one in and I'm trying to angle the armor, but he puts two shots in, he puts a third shot in, takes out my driver. I bounce the fourth one, but he bounces my one spectacularly. Bring the driver back into action. AX50B is making a run for it. Artillery takes a shot, I put a shot into the backside. some of his health by driving into his friend in the Yak Panzer 100. <laughs> Which way are you going? Well, that was a nice shot by the artillery there. That was probably the T-92. <laughs> Doing what T-92s do best. Now then, object 263. Waffenfrager E100. One to the Waffenfrager E100. Takes off my track, put that back. Dodge the next shot. Yeah, oh, God. AMX 50B. Thank you, Yag Panzer E100. But now, the other 263 is coming for me. So I've got one to the low glacis, go for face hugging maneuver. Bounce this shot. That's when I realise where's the where's a weak spot on the object 263. Not there. Yes, there. <laughs> the gun mantlet. You can't penetrate me like that, object 263. That was a big mistake, face hugging. <laughs> See moving moving the gun frantically. Trying to shove off my aim, but it doesn't work. Managed to take him out. Dodge shot by artillery as well. That was the 55 artillery, so there's no more shots coming in from the same vehicle. Nice distraction by the T49. Uh, means that the FE215 B193 is not worried about me anymore. He's got much, much worse problems to deal with. Blow the track off the FE215 B183 while I'm at it. Wait for the reload. one in but it's too late, it doesn't matter, yeah Panzer 100 finishes him off anyway. I drive past the wreck of very, very um, large tank destroyers. They're absolutely horrendously um, overpowered their guns but they do have their weaknesses as well. shot on the T-110E4. At this point on the side I'm going to go try and go over the other side of the road and go under the bridge on the other side because the T-110E4 was just taking out the object 263. T-49 does a nice drive past and takes out the batch at 155.58 so there's only one enemy vehicle under that bridge. Batch out RT takes out the Air Panzer 100. I've got one into the side of the T124's turret and the T49 finishes him off. There's just us two left and there's only two enemy vehicles left. There's a Batch at 25T and a Batch at 155.55. There's the Batch at 25T. And uh, I haven't got gun elevation. But that was a nice shot from the T-49, that's just what I needed, just what we needed. Um, it's too late to save the T-49, but he's a one-shot kill, the bat jet, and he's reloading. So I can finish him off, keep moving, keep moving, because artillery will be aiming in, wanting to take a shot. T-49 
to finish me off. Oh, that was satisfying. Now all I have to do is kill the artillery. However, I'm on 211 health and he could be anywhere around the map because he hasn't been spotted the entire game. He could be, theoretically, about to cap my base. If he does start to do that, it's game over. Because I'm just not fast enough to get back and defend the cap, even with only one enemy vehicle in it. But there's the enemy cap, so... Best thing I can do now is sit into the enemy cap and force the Batchat to either come to me go into our cap and force a draw, if you can, which you can't now, it's too late. Um, oh, there he is. Or he can just sit there and decide to lose instead. Drive out of the cap to take a shot. Now, 440 is the average damage of this gun. So, what do I do? 432. Yeah, typical, isn't it? Left him on 8 health. And this is really where I could do with a high explosive shell that I haven't got, obviously. So, pull back behind this, this little barn so that I can quickly turn the turret to the left or to the right, depending on which side he comes round. Neither of us can survive another shot. He's artillery, which means he doesn't theoretically have to hit me to kill me. I'm only on 211 health. Oh, there he is, and he didn't like the look of that. I'm not looking like looking like the look of this either. What's he going to do? Oh, he's driving straight into the building. He fires, he misses, he hits the building, and I punish him for that. Well, that was a nice game. Um, Mastery Badge First Class, Duelist, Fife Effect Bruiser, Confederate, Spartan, and High Caliber. I managed to kill three enemy vehicles, but still get Confederate, um, because I'd still managed to damage without destroying six others. Um, 5,858 damage done. 1,071 base experience, uh, which became 3,212, and 33,767 credits of profit in a tier 10 with premium account. So, that has got to be one of the best tier 10 games I have ever had in World of Tanks and uh, because I've done a video on it the memory will certainly remain for many years to come I hope you enjoyed watching the replays in this special and uh, as always viewers good luck on the battlefield and I'll see you next time <laughs>